part three of the simple video series. In part one, I found you didn't need any more than 10 components to transmit a video signal, making use of a crystal oscillator module. In part two, I went even simpler, needing only five parts to transmit an image. In part three, I'll try something similar, still keeping it simple, but getting good results with both a local video source and the video camera. Here's a modified circuit. The crystal oscillator module is still there, as is the one in 4148 diode, but this time the video is injected to the anode side of the diode. That injection goes through a 2.2 microhenry RF choke. That RF choke provides a bit of isolation between the RF here, which is your 16 megahertz from the module and the numerous harmonics, and the lower frequency video input signal. You can remove the RF choke and substitute a resistor. I tried 100 to 220 ohm, but the video quality isn't as good. On the cathode side of the diode is a 100k potentiometer. Adjust that for best picture quality, though there may be settings where you've got no picture at all. The output, as before, is taken via a 10 picofarad capacitor. I haven't added a tuned circuit yet, so it's rich in harmonics. I was able to get a good picture from the video camera without the 10 microfarad capacitor here, but with the DVD player I needed it in. That provides some DC isolation. Well, just adjust the potentiometer. This is with the potentiometer almost to earth connection. Maximum current going through the diode. And then keep adjusting it. So to conclude, it's only using a handful of parts, but we're now getting a good picture from the camera. It's still not perfect, and something has to be done about its output, because it's currently on a multitude of frequencies. Some selective tuned circuits here would probably help.